Hi, I'm Christian Brindle, and welcome to the Everything Medicare Podcast. What's up, everything, Medicare, Podcast Nation? Happy Saturday. I hope you had a fantastic week wherever you are and however you might be listening to us today on whatever platform you might be listening to us on, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, YouTube, uh, Google Cast, Spotify, Anchor, I could go on and on, iHeartRadio, Pandora. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for giving me a little bit of your time and investing in your own personal education on your Medicare health plan and maximizing your Medicare down to the very last drop. My name is Christian Brindle. If this is your first time listening to me, I've published two books on the topic of Medicare. I'm an author. I own a company called Christian Brindle Insurance Services, where we work with people on their Medicare just like you in five different states, Utah, Texas, Idaho, Oregon, and Florida. Again, that's Utah, Texas, Idaho, Oregon, and Florida. And we partner with all of the largest insurance companies in the Medicare industry today, where we sort through people's options to help them find the best available fit based on their specific needs and preferences, okay? Folks, we've been been doing this podcast for about uh, maybe a year and a half now, and I'm shocked that I've never done an episode on this pod, on this topic, okay? Um, There are people out there and I run into them all the time in my my own line of work. You know, as somebody that you know makes a living, I I want to say almost you know giving people recommendations and advice. Of course, you know we make a living because people enroll into plans with us and then work with us on their plan long term, and we allow you know they allow us to provide them service, year round access, uh, keep them up to date on changes, et cetera, et cetera. But if if nothing else, I would say it's more than anything else, we're giving recommendations, we're giving advice on, you know, hey, based on your situation, you know, you have congestive heart failure, you have kidney dialysis, I wouldn't recommend a Medicare Advantage plan to you, sir, or ma'am. I'd recommend you consider a Medicare supplement plan. You're you're gonna be in a situation where, you know, you're 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 able to get it without any health questions. You're in a situation where you can never lose it once you have it. That's basically most of what we do you know we give recommendations of course we give service on the policy of for that from that standpoint but that's what we do in our business we give advice we give recommendations on which plan somebody should pick it uh, taking the customer service of what we do out of the equation which we do more of it than probably 99 percent of other um, of our competitors in the industry today and it always blows my mind when I encounter somebody that has taken the approach to where I want to educate myself without you or someone like you, which don't get me wrong, I have nothing against education and I have nothing against you know learning and wanting to know as much as possible, but you always want to be in a situation where you're working smarter, not necessarily harder, okay? You can get to the same point, the same finish line, with less steps by working smarter. You don't always have to take the hard route. If there are two paths to get to the same destination, one path has involves you climbing mountains, um, and at the and 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 while you're going up that mountain, there's an avalanche knocking you back down to start back over, and there's there's tornadoes and earthquakes and rattlesnakes and everything um and then there's another path you can go that will take you the same destination it just goes around all those obstacles and it's a nice soft path wouldn't you take the easier path wouldn't you for most people yes but there are people out there that the answer to that is no and i have nothing against people doing their own research and doing their own homework that's not the issue. That's not the message I'm trying to portray here. But when I run into somebody that is against talking to any person that's a broker, 
against talking to any person that does what I do, you know, is, is someone that works with all of the different companies, that is ludicrous to me. I ran into people that their approach is this. They want to specifically pick up the phone, call a 1-800 number of all of the different insurance companies in their market. In a lot of markets, folks, there might be 15 different insurance companies to pick from on a Medicare Advantage plan. That doesn't include the Medicare supplements available in your market. I've known people to try this approach. I've never met anybody ever that knew everything that they could have known by spending an hour with me, sitting down with me, talking to me over the phone, doing a, um, a virtual visit with me. And if they can learn all this stuff, it's going to take them months, which they could learn with me having a couple different conversations. But people have the approach that, you know, Every time you're going to talk to a broker, every time you're going to talk to an agent, they're going to have something slimy, something slippery going on where they're trying to push you one way or another or they have a bias. And with some brokers, that very well could be the case. I'm not saying that that's unwarranted all the time. But if you find a good agent, and I've been preaching this on this platform for many, many months, ever since we started from the beginning, I should say, it's not going to be an issue. And it not only cuts your learning curve on your understanding but it dramatically takes time out of the equation to where you can get to the same point. You can get to the same destination you're trying to get to. You can try to get to the same finish line without having to spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on the phone with somebody in a call center in some state that's never even been to where you live, let's say, that takes calls from all 50 states, you know, someone that makes $10 an hour that really isn't qualified to speak to you about the plan. These people, what they do, and it's so crazy to me, they will call these insurance companies one by one, and they'll take notes on what they, they, you know, are told over the phone. But what they're not taking into consideration is every time you pick up and call an insurance company, that insurance company's job is to sell you, to sell you to give you the best um, lines possible they can think of to get you to enroll. That is their agenda. They're not looking at it from an unbiased perspective, folks. You're talking to the insurance company itself. They're going to try to do everything they can do to make themselves sound like the best thing since sliced bread, even if they're not. You think a bad insurance company is going to say, hey, we're a bad insurance company. No! No! Why wouldn't you put yourself in a situation where you can talk to someone that has no biases, no agenda, and can wear multiple different hats and talk to you about any particular insurance company and compare apples to apples, compare things side by side? You know, I think people dramatically overthink it and they take the hard way around because they're so um, afraid that they're going to talk to somebody that's going to take them for a ride. And maybe they've you know, been in a situation like that, and I feel for them, and it definitely can happen, and there's those people out there. But if you make sure you're finding a good agent, and we've done, we've done a lot of episodes on how to tell if someone's a good agent opposed to a bad agent. We've done a lot of episodes about you know, how to find a good agent. It can be done. It's possible. They're everywhere. There's also bad agents everywhere, but you have to know how to decipher through them. But... Even if you call the insurance companies, can they tell you how big their hospital and doctor network is over the phone? Maybe not as much as you'd probably might like to know. Can they tell you the insurance company's processes down to the T on prior authorizations, if that plan has referrals, how many hospitals and doctors they actually have in the network, how big their network is opposed to their competitors? You're getting a slighted version of the story. You always need an unbiased perspective. Always. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, folks. Take time out of the equation. Why would you want to do something that takes three to six months of your own time, of doing your own homework, when you can learn all that you need to know in a couple of hours? Don't go anywhere. Let's take a break. I'll be back with you in segment two after a quick word from this week's sponsor, and then we'll be back, and I'll tell you exactly what I think that you should be doing this enrollment period. Don't go anywhere. 
I'll be back with you soon. What's up, everybody? This is actually Randy W. Hall, Mr. Nice Guy Medicare Advisor, not Christian Brendel, your esteemed host. I'm here to tell you about my Medicare agency, Mr. Nice Guy Medicare Advisor, based here in Tennessee. For the past 10 years, I've been helping Medicare beneficiaries just like you in Tennessee and Kentucky maximize their Medicare. If you're a regular listener of this podcast, you know Christian always encourages you to deal with a broker in your state who sells all the different plans and will give you not just a quote, but also advise you and educate you in a way that is simple to understand. We know how confusing and overwhelming the whole process can be. We do it all for folks on Medicare, from supplements to Advantage plans, Part D, cancer products, hospital indemnities, and more. So if you want to get a free quote or a consultation, I urge you to call 615-578-5174. Again, that's area code 615-578-5174. Or for more information, you can visit my website and read all about me at MrNiceGuyMedicareAdvisor.com. That's all one word, MrNiceGuyMedicareAdvisor.com. And again, why deal with a jerk? When you can deal with a nice guy. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for sticking with me through that sponsorship announcement from Randy W. Hall, the Mr. Nice Guy Medicare Advisor. Let's get back in to this episode of the Everything Medicare Podcast. So I've preached on this podcast, and the reason why I'm doing this episode in, in, in part, folks, is because I've talked to some people that I think misinterpreted my message about education. I have dramatically encouraged people when they're making the selection with their Medicare health plan to make sure that they're educated. But I don't want you to fall into the trap to where you have to do it all on your own. That's not what I meant. That's not what I had in mind for you. You want to make sure that you're getting educated. You want, And, and it's not bad to do some of your own research, to, to look some information up online. But if, you, I, if you're getting to a point where you're calling every single insurance company one by one by one and talking to people barely making over minimum wage that probably aren't qualified to really, you know, answer your questions effectively, let's face it. I mean, these these call centers, these customer service positions, you know, the, the revolving door is real. People come in and out of these insurance companies. There's very few people that know half of what a really good experienced broker would know. And like I said, you're getting one perspective at a time. One perspective at a time of each insurance company. I've seen people get overwhelmed by trying to do this. You know, I see these people that they call each insurance company one by one by one. They make a spreadsheet and there's nothing wrong with making a spreadsheet. I've seen it be really helpful for some people in keeping information straight, but they do it all based off of their own research and their own efforts. I've seen people that spent six months doing their own research. They refused to talk to anybody. Finally, they gave in because after all of this research that they had done, they still didn't feel like they knew what, what they needed to do. They still didn't feel like they were given all the information. And you know why? It's because the Medicare industry does a great job of keeping all of the information from you. They tell you just enough to pique your interest on their particular plan. There's very few places you can go to get real quality information. This podcast is one thing you can listen to. One piece of content out there. But you know how few and far between content is? For two reasons. The insurance companies want the power. They want you to have to call them to get the information. They want you to call one by one by one. At that point, it's just a matter of which insurance company has the best, you know, slimy, sneaky car salesman on the other end of the phone to kind of get you to make a decision right then and there for their particular plan, whether it's a good fit of you or not. They don't care. They're just trying to get enrollments. They have quotas. Don't be fooled. That's number one. They want the power. They don't want you to have the power. They want to have the power. And in order for them to have the power, they have to only give you enough information, just a little, just enough to pique your interest. But they're not going to tell you anything bad about the plan. Not on an advertisement, not on a commercial, not on a flyer, not on a brochure. Maybe in the fine print. Maybe in the enrollment guides, if you look hard enough for them. But do you know where to look? That's number one. Number two... 
Medicare has a million and one rules that they place on people working in the industry, insurance companies in as general, and the insurance companies are terrified of these rules. Insurance professionals are terrified of these rules. So they try to put out the most generic information that you can possibly have. Because if they say anything outside of that generic information, it violates Medicare rules. Medicare literally has rules that prevent you from having all the information. In my opinion, I'm sure I could get in trouble by saying that. But they have rules on what people are allowed to say, what they're not allowed to say, terminology they're allowed to use. Um, there's a reason why if you've ever gotten a document from a Medicare insurance company, it's like it's in Chinese. It's because they have to word it that way. Medicare requires it. It's a game, folks. You have to learn how to play it. You have to know how to play it. You have to understand that it's a game first and foremost. And number two, then you got to learn the rules. Number three, got to learn how to capitalize on these rules. You're not going to change the game, but what you can do is you can change your attitude towards the game and learn how to play better. Work smarter, not harder. Work with an agent. It can dramatically take time out of the equation. You can literally talk to an agent that can tell you anything you want to know about five different insurance companies' plans within an hour or two. You're not having to wait on hold. And the agent can actually tell you, well, XYZ insurance company is good for this reason, but I don't like it because of this, this, and this. And in comparison, you wouldn't have that obstacle with company B. You know? You're not going to get that by calling an insurance company. You're not. Don't be prideful. I get it. You might have been in a bad situation where, you know, an insurance agent might have taken advantage of you. They might have made a terrible recommendation for you. There's bad agents out there. We know this. But that is not the answer. You just need a new agent. Let's take a break, folks. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me through a quick word from this week's sponsor, and I'll be back in segment three with my final thoughts on this topic. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sticking with me through that quick word from our sponsor. And today, folks, I hope that if you heard anything I had to say, it's work smarter, not harder. That you can get to the same place multiple different ways, but you can make it harder on yourself or not. I'm not saying that if you, you can't do your own research and learn everything that you can learn from a broker but you can do it in a lot quicker time by working with a good broker, somebody that knows their stuff, somebody that can run a prescription comparison for you and show you all the plans in a line, someone that can check all, you, check all your doctors and then come back and say, okay, these plans on this side have all your doctors, these plans don't. Wow, right? I mean, wouldn't that take something out of it? You're working with uh, someone on a Medicare supplemental plan, Okay, this these insurance companies have the higher rate increase averages. They've had a bad history here. These insurance companies haven't. They've had a great history. You just eliminated 50% of the competition at that point. Wow, how nice would that be, right? It's available to you. Work smarter, not harder. Brokers don't charge you a cent. They get compensated from the insurance company to provide you service, folks. They don't cost anything. It's the same exact plan you can get through the insurance company. It's the same exact price through the insurance company. You don't benefit at all working directly through the insurance company, in my opinion. Not at all. You don't get anything that you wouldn't get working through a broker. It's just if you work with a good broker, you get a lot on top of it. So I hope you heard me. I hope you got the message, and I hope that um, you got something out of this episode. As always, folks, this is the enrollment period. It's not over yet. We still got a ways to go. And if you haven't had the time or if you haven't gotten around to or if, if you're like a lot of people and you've put it off, procrastinated, it's okay. We all do it with certain things in our lives. And you just haven't had a chance to compare your Medicare plan. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, my office works with people in Utah, Texas, Florida, Idaho, and Oregon. Again, that's Utah, Texas, Florida, Idaho, and Oregon. 
we can offer any of the major biggest insurance companies in those markets and we can help narrow down the choices for you very simply we can explain your options in layman's terms explain the good the bad the ugly and they'll let you decide we can just we can compare what you currently have to see if there's anything better available we can make it a lot easier for you there's no cost there's no obligation so even if you call up and what you have is currently the best thing and we'd be happy to tell you that of course no harm done by making the call and just verifying and making sure again my office number is 801-255-5340 801-255-5340 thank you for tuning in thank you for listening folks um if you're watching this on youtube please give us a like drop a comment in the comment section which you'd like to see on future videos hit the subscribe button for updates on when we post three times a week and and on the YouTube channel also if you're not following us there we do a lot of extra videos content throughout the week as well it's not just the podcast that goes on the YouTube channel there's plenty of videos we put up that are outside of the podcast that are additional okay um, thank you so much for listening we appreciate you so very much for your continued support since the beginning have a great day we'll be back on Monday have a great weekend folks take care